talk a little weather now, okay, with a live look here at the State House because it is a much cooler day today. Felt pretty good out there today, Dakari. Yeah, I like that there was uh, the humidity mm -hmm. uh, factor. My watch likes it too. Like oh, so yeah. the humidity <laughs> factor was down. Let's <laughs> talk about it with uh, meteorologist Junar Sudis. Yeah, Ashley picked a great day to get outside yep. at the fair. Comfortable, we're not looking at any rain bothering us. A nice breeze just in case it's still a little bit too warm and sticky for you. So good conditions coming our way. Here's been the bad news. The majority of the start of the day has been cloudy. We've gotten more sunshine in the last few hours, but it wasn't a particularly bright start to the day. Of course, that did help us remain cooler than the last couple of days have been. However, with the sun coming out, hopefully we don't see temperatures rise all too much more. Right now we're at 80 degrees, so we actually just hit our high temperature for the day. We were stuck at 79 earlier, now at 80 with that sunshine sneaking in last minute. As we take a look at our forecast across the entire state, mid-70s, upper 70s, 80 degrees or so, about as warm as we're getting. Dew points are also a little bit more moderate compared to how they've been the last few days. We see some 60s and maybe one or two 70s down towards the south, but mid-60s for most is in the uncomfortable category, but not miserable category, which is what we've been stuck at for the last couple days. We get quite comfortable moving into this weekend and air mass change coming our way currently. We are seeing winds lightly out of the northeast. The more northern air we get moving in, the eventually cooler and drier we're going to get, and that'll be something we certainly feel in the forecast as we move into tomorrow. So right now, certainly no rain, some clouds overhead at the moment, but even those clouds are starting to die down here. Of course, Debbie out towards the east coast, uh, not bothering us, and it looks like next chance for some weather coming our way will be the system off towards the northwest. It's not going to end up being a huge system, so likely, especially here in central and southern parts of the state, will stay dry for the next couple days, even with a little cold front moving through. So moving into tonight, skies clear out completely. We're looking comfortable as can be. Uh, maybe not the most uh, dry air yet, but we'll certainly feel that moving into the weekend. Dry enough where it's comfortable in tonight's forecast. As you move into tomorrow afternoon, a few showers firing off the very southeastern portion of the state. And eventually that dying cold front will be moving into the north. As you can see tomorrow night, maybe a few showers off in the northwestern corner of the state. But here in Indianapolis, we're likely dry. And as we were talking about for today's forecast around sundown and into the early evening hours on the dry side, on the comfortable side for all, maybe dropping all the way to 63 degrees by tomorrow morning. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we are going to see if you head out to the fair, hopefully some sunny skies out there in the afternoon. The morning hours may have a few extra clouds outside, but uh, it should be a good day for everybody regardless. So let's take a quick look at our Hensley seven-day forecast. As we move on ahead, we are going to see temperatures kind of staying right about this comfortable zone with plenty of sunshine through and through.